Okay guys, we are back with another video today. This can get very, very bad. We're gonna go over some levels on a couple stocks and also at the close to the end of the video, I'm gonna show you guys one, a stock that I bought heavy today. Two, I'm gonna show you guys two new positions that I'm looking to start for some longs, okay? So we're gonna go over a couple stocks. Some of them have earnings, some of them have horrible drops, some of them are breaking critical levels that if those levels break, that could be very bad. So let's just get all into it. Make sure you guys smash that like button, subscribe if you are new. Thank you guys for being on the channel. If you are new, my name is Will and I give you guys key levels in the stock market every day. Make sure you follow my second channel, Will Knowledge Crypto. Make sure you follow my third channel, Will Knowledge Forex. And then make sure you follow our company YouTube channel, All Portrayers Club. Now, first one I'm gonna talk about is Uber, okay? I had a lot of questions. Should we buy an Uber? What's going on with Uber? All this stuff, right? Now, just because something has dropped, I'll go ahead and write the ticker symbol, U-B-E-R. Now, just because something has dropped like this doesn't mean you buy it, right? Does not mean you buy it. First, you need to know what company is it, what happened with their earnings, is this a good company to hold, and all that stuff, okay? Now, Uber down over 10% on pace for lowest since um, April. Okay, they post a nearly six billion loss from investments, but reports a rebound in rides that helps in uh, beat estimates. Now, I was already expecting like rides and stuff to be low, um, well, lower than like when the 19 stuff was going on. So expecting it to go down, Lyft just had a harder drop that we'll talk about Lyft right after this, because I kind of feel like Uber is more of like a sympathy type of play from Lyft, okay? So it did drop a lot. Now, Having a retracement in this is pretty much normal. I am expecting some resistance around like 2850. So I'll go ahead and give you guys a level on that, but I am looking to play it. Now, what can get very bad on this is if it comes up here, one shows resistance, that's going to be very bad because I can see that dropping probably to the low 20s. Or if it breaks this support level that I'm going to give you guys and it actually hit it today, right around $26. So these are main two levels. I added this one in here because I see a lot of comments on it and I know a lot of people want to know about it. So Uber, I added this one. Watch these two levels. If it if it comes up here and shows heavy selling pressure, that's bad. If it breaks this resistance, that's even worse. Okay, you rather it come up than going straight down like Facebook did because you see that drop after that first initial drop off the earnings, you see how big that Facebook drop was. I don't want that to happen with Uber, okay? Now, I don't feel like Uber is going to go anywhere. I don't feel like anything like that. I don't hold it long term. I don't have any plays on it, but I am looking to play it shorter term. But these levels are the most important that we need to be watching out first. OK, next one is Lyft. Ticker symbol L-Y-F-T, L-Y-F-T. I'm trying to incorporate some different stocks in here for you guys. I know. That's why I make a lot of videos. Some people don't trade penny stocks. Some people don't trade bigger cap stocks, you know? So it's a lot of videos to kind of get everybody in there, okay? So Lyft, ticker symbol L-Y-F-T, L-Y-F-T. This was just a crazy drop. I think it's over like 20 something percent. Yeah, 30% drop. That is crazy. Should we buy this right now? No, we shouldn't. There is a potential reversal type play, but we need that buying pressure confirmation. That's why I always urge you guys, buying pressure, buying pressure, buying pressure, Make sure you join the team. First link in the description. Make sure you join VIP because that is when you'll learn what is buying pressure. How do we see buying pressure? Because buying pressure goes with everything. You need buying pressure here. Just because it dropped doesn't mean we buy. We go back to Facebook. That huge drop, people were try, probably buying that and it dropped even more, right? So you want to be careful on just trying to buy something just because it drops. Now, this one actually took all levels out, right? It just annihilated all type of levels. We do not want this level. Actually, we don't want this stock. If, if, okay, so if this stock breaks $18, so is that like 20? So it still has a little room, okay, to go. If it breaks 18, I think we're gonna be going to all time lows on a lift, okay? If it breaks $18, I think we're gonna be going to all time lows on lift. Now, uh, they had, they did have their earnings um, yesterday. I'm looking at it right now, just of some uh, key points. Uh, but I'll probably do a deeper dive into Lyft earnings. I didn't really check it out too deep, but I know they have a lot. Of, they're spending their revenue, right? So they're spending the money that they make to acquire new drivers. Now, spending money that you're making instead of having it in your budget is not a good thing so they're basically going to lose money out of their revenue so i think that's what a lot of people didn't like also so huge drop the only level i'm watching right now is at 18 level to break 
And then I'm also watching for around 23 for resistance slash a buying level. So how this uh, 23 level is going to act is if this $23 level breaks, okay, that is when I'll probably start looking to play the upside for lift, okay? But until then, not looking to play it, just going to wait to see how it moves into there. Okay, now, NVIDIA is the next one, okay? Now, why I say NVIDIA can get very bad, I'll, you, could, you can even see that pullback that it's having without even me zooming in or anything like that, okay? So deep, deep pullback on NVIDIA right now. I do hold it long term. So NVDA, let's go ahead and take that level off. Let's go down to the five day, five minute. Look at this, right? Nasty, nasty pullback. Nasty, nasty pullback. Now, I believe this one is going to drop to like 170. Okay. I believe this one is going to drop to 170. That's why I say this can get very bad because I believe it will get very bad. That's why I haven't bought this one uh, probably for what, a couple days or two days or something like that because I'm about to wait. Okay. So this one is going to drop very bad. I think it's going to drop to the 170s. Go ahead and clear all these charts out. But I am looking to play it on that downside. So today, on this five-minute candlestick chart, I, just, I want you guys to watch this. So as it's pulling back, if we get any retracement back up to around 192, that's kind of a level I'm looking to go uh, to get some heavy put options for, right? So I kind of added this one in the middle of the videos, right? So sometimes I ask stuff at the end, sometimes I ask stuff in the middle to make sure you guys are watching the full video. Big, 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 big level. I'm looking to get a load of put options right around that 192 area if we can get that retracement back up. If we don't get that retracement back up, it'll probably just keep dropping. Like I said, we're most likely going to be below 170s. And once it gets to that 170s area, I'll be buying heavy. So make sure you stay tuned for that. But I want to give you guys this little put option play in the middle of the video. I hope you guys enjoy it. And I think I'm even going to get put options uh, right after this video. I'll probably send that signal out to the Discord room. Next one, Sundell Growers. Sundell Growers is looking very dangerous. Okay, ticker symbol SNDL. Let me write out this ticker symbol for you guys. And make sure you stay tuned for some stocks that I bought today and also some new positions I'm looking to start. So Sundell Growers, SNDL. This is a penny stock. Make sure you watch your risk management. Now, what's looking bad on this one is look at this buying level. Remember what I told you guys. If a buying level acts as a resistance, what does that mean? That means bearish. Okay, that means bearish. Resistance, resistance again, almost hit it perfect right here. What happened after that? Stock fell, okay? That's why I say don't miss the video. I'll try to get you guys the best level in the market. That's not good at all. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna clear the chart. And right now, all we have now on Sunday is a support level, okay? That's all we have. We don't have any buying levels. There is resistance above price, but I'm just not bullish on Sunday right now. I'm bearish on it. So I believe the support level is the most significant thing right now that we need to be watching, right? Because you have to know what type of market you're in. If you're in a bearish market, you shouldn't be looking, um, you should only be looking to build your long terms, build that cash position, and then maybe looking for scalps, but not really looking to hold stuff like for swings in a bearish market because you don't want to get trapped in here, right? As it's falling down. So support level is, actually, let me turn that level blue. So support level is 44 cents, okay? major level we do not want this to break we don't want this to break if this breaks that's going to just that's probably going to pull it down to like the 30 cents area okay so big big level don't want that to break only level i'm watching for sundale is that 44 cents area support level next is mullen mullen why this one is horrible because it was trading sideways right let me write the ticker symbol real quick because this one this is what we were kind of waiting for. I wanted to see on what side would it break out of, and it is showing that today. So M-U-L-N, right there, take that off. Okay, so you see how it was trading sideways, right? It was trading sideways for a while, actually, if we zoom out. So look at that. Just traded sideways, all sideways, sideways, sideways. Finally starting to get that breakage. So why this is bad, let me go out to the 90 day. Let me clear all this because all that is irrelevant now. So why that is bad is because it's finally breaking to the downside, which means there's no upward pressure. There's no like buying volume. There's just nothing, right? It's probably going to break down to that dollar, dollar and 10 cents area.
because what I wanted is I wanted this to actually break on the upside out of that range. Let me see. That dollar ten area is a support and it's actually a buying pressure level also. So we'll kind of watch out for that. But what I wanted is I wanted it to break outside of the upside. Okay. Get that pullback. And that would have been just a perfect play to send us up to about two dollars. But we did not get that. It actually broke down today on that downside and coming down to a support slash buying level at about a dollar and ten cents. Now, thank goodness we did not buy. Remember, I was telling you guys that I wanted to buy at like $2.50. Look, it's at $1.20 right now. That is why the levels are important. This is why you should be joining VIP to learn. Come learn how to trade. We have a live Zoom today. I'll be going live with the students, teaching you guys and going over the market conditions, everything that we need to know. Make sure you join VIP, okay? Best, best, best thing to do is join VIP. Come get the knowledge. So, Mullen. Is that one that's that's the only level I'm looking for melon? Okay, the only level I'm looking at for melon. Now I wanted to go over this five because I wanted to let me see. Um let me go out to the 90 day 30 minute. Okay, so spy is dropping, right? We have um what do we have to we have the Fed today. Okay, spy is dropping. I did get a little put option on it, nothing too heavy. I only went in about 25% just in case it screams up to 450. It just won't hurt the portfolio, right? But if it screams down, that profit will be better than that loss. So that's the type of risk to reward that I was doing. I let everybody know the Discord room is very risky, so don't even trade it. Uh, it's just very risky, right? Only put 25%. But why I like this spot is I like all the levels that it's at. So say if it wasn't, the say if the Fed didn't speak today, say if the Fed did not speak today and it was just a normal day, I would have loaded the boat up on put options on the spot. So that's why I still went in a little bit because I like the levels just in case it goes wrong. I can cut it, no problem. But a key level on the spot that if the level breaks today, I think that would be very bearish and I actually think we'll be heading down. It's 414. So that's the only level I want to give you guys on the spot. 414, make sure you watch that. It's ticker symbol SPY, ticker symbol SPY, make sure you watch that level okay now stock that i bought today amazon i bought more shares of amazon this is a long position on amazon i did buy more shares i think amazon is going to fall down to like the two thousand dollar range that's where i feel amazon is going to go to that two thousand dollar range so make sure you kind of watch that but i like where amazon at a lot like amazon is finally going down it's been trading sideways for two years and we're finally starting to see down movement on amazon which I think a lot of people were waiting for. So I feel like a lot of money is going to start pouring in Amazon, especially once we start getting to a bullish market. Because right now we've been in bearish market for like, we've been going down for just months, right? We have maybe some up days for like a week or two, but then just straight back down. So as fast as it went up, it's as fast as it came down. So we've been in bearish territory for a long time, right? A lot of worried territory, Fed, interest rates, all this stuff, war. We had a lot of stuff going on. Once all this stuff kind of settles out, maybe next year, maybe mid next year, we're going to see a crazy market to the upside and i want to make sure i have amazon shares for that okay because amazon has a tendency to run up crazy like for a whole year it can run up okay let me see oh real quick i think the last time it ran up yeah the last time it ran up it went from march of 2020 from all the way to about september 2020 it went straight up okay that's what i'm looking for next once it has that momentum to come back so make sure you kind of watch out for that. Amazon is one that I bought. Disney, okay? Disney, this is one I should be buying before the market is closed. I do hold a long position, kind of a new long position on Disney. I'll be buying more of this. Disney isn't going anywhere. The high of Disney was about $200. It's about $112 now. It's down over 45%. And I feel like it still has a little more to go. So I, I think I'm going to buy a little bit uh, before the market is closed. I'm not sure. But this is one that I'm looking to buy more of today or tomorrow. But I will be buying more of Disney d-i-s-y d-i-s i mean d-i-s i don't know why i said why then and then this next one i'm actually starting to build a new position and it is nike okay ticker symbol oh let me put ticker symbol so this is one i'm looking to build a new position on nike isn't going anywhere i'm liking that this drop i have been watching it for a little bit and i'm liking the drop that it's having uh nke let's take that off the high was about 179 and it's about 120, so only down about 31%. But I feel like it's coming to some key levels where I want to start building that position. I don't know if it's going to fall below 100. I'm not sure of that. It depends on what goes on, like with the Fed and stuff. But I'm not sure if it's going to fall below 100. 
but getting below 120 and stuff like that, I think it is. So I will be starting a position on Nike um, today or tomorrow. It all depends. Just make sure you're in the room. First thing in the description to know all my buys and sales and to come learn how to trade. But this is one that I'm starting. Hope you guys like this video. Always remember, nuts recommendation to follow, uh, nuts recommendation to buy or sell anything. Just educate your purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. And I'll catch you guys in that next one.